Hey everyone, Esteban here with All American Print Supply. Thank you so much for joining us for another fun-filled webinar. As you may have read from the title description, today we're going to be going over the sleeve platen for the Epson line of direct-to-garment. Before we get started, I do want to mention quickly our brand new loyalty rewards program. If you have not done so already, be sure you head over to aaprintsupplyco.com, register your account, and make sure you make your purchases while logged in. What will happen is you'll begin to accrue points back on every dollar spent good towards future needs on the website. It's our way of saying thank you for your continued support and building a lasting relationship between client and company. While we're on the subject, I do want to mention really quick our YouTube channel, which is aaprintsupplyco on youtube.com. Be sure to head over, hit that red subscribe button, tap that post notification bell so you never miss any of our awesome print related content. We have some of my past webinars, product tutorials, spotlights, walkthroughs, and we have a whole lot more coming. So once again, that's AA Print Supply Co. on YouTube.com. Be sure you subscribe and drop some thumbs up if you enjoy any of our awesome videos. Now, let's dive right into it. What is the sleeve platen? This is gonna be a four x four printing option compatible with the whole range of Epson DTG. I'm talking the F2000, the F2100, the brand new F3070. And it's a great way to not only print on the short sleeve, but as well as other applications. Today we're gonna to be going over live demos on neck labeling, the short sleeve printing itself, and we're gonna make a face mask. Before we dive into it, how are we gonna install this thing on here? If you're familiar with the Epson F2100, you already know that this ships with a 14 by 16 platen, which is great for all adult sizes, even into our two and three X. There are available options such as the 16x20, 10x12, 7x8, and installations of Breeze. All we're going to do is head over to the platen and evenly grab it firmly with both hands and just sort of lift up here. Now what we're going to see are two mounting points that are going to allow us to interchange different accessory options for various types of printing. So the 4x4 is a little different in that it's going to sit slightly higher. So for this to clear the tunnel, not bother my sensor and safely get into the print area, we're gonna do one quick thing before we actually install it. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna release this lever, which we usually do to lock in our platen height, and that's gonna allow me to take off the entire mounting adapter. So we're just gonna go ahead and lift this up just like so. Now, we're gonna take off here next our platen height adjuster. This is the knob that allows us to toggle between the print setting, lower it down to about a one, one and a half for t-shirt printing, and so on and so forth for our various options. We're gonna remove this, and you may notice here, we actually have two number circles that show us where our platen height is. We're not gonna be using this top one so that when we load the platen, it's gonna sit slightly slower, and that way we can clear the tunnel and get a great quality print. I'm gonna place my adjustable knob back on top of the lower number circle, and then we're gonna take our adapter. You will see here that there are two mounting points, and we're gonna put the shorter option in the rear of the positioning. So we're just gonna go ahead and place this right back down like so, make sure that's nice and locked in, and now we're ready to install the short sleeve platen for our four x four printing. We're gonna take this back over, and then same thing, just like you saw with the 14 by 16, we're gonna place these two mounting points on the adapter, nice and easy, and it's that simple. Now we're gonna take a look at how we set this up in our software so our printer knows exactly where to place our image. Stay tuned. Setting up the software in Garmin Creator is super easy to use the 4x4 platen. The first thing we're gonna do is take our cursor to the top of the screen and select Layout Settings, and then we're gonna go down to Platen. We're going to select the drop down menu option and we're going to go down to sleeve platen. It says right here 4x4 and select it. Now our printer knows exactly where to place the design and what platen we're using. All right, in the Cathari software, first thing we're going to do is open layout. We're going to select our environment new and choose our quality setting. After that, we're going to go ahead to the top and select the print option. And right next to it, you'll see where it says medium platen. We're going to select that drop down menu. And same thing, we're going to hit the sleeve platen right there. Now our printer knows exactly what size platen we're using and where to place the design. Now that we've gone over how to set up the print area in our software, let's do some live demonstrations. We're going to start off with the, what the product's intended for, which is the sleeve printing. Now, on many garments, there may be a crease or a hard line on that part of our print area. So I do advise doing a quick pre-press to smooth out that portion we are gonna be printing on so we have a nice, even palette for our image. Now, for today's purposes, we are gonna be doing a CMYK print. Simply thread the sleeve on, 
and then you guys probably know this part, we're going to lock it in with this smaller 4x4 hoop to keep the garment in place. So it's fed in and held nice and smooth. Make sure we got this nice and loaded here. And now we're going to send the print. Now that the data is received on the Epson direct to garment printer, let's go ahead and send in the job. Now if you do have any questions about any of the products, processes, or services we offer, be sure to hit the link in the Zoom chat. You can connect with the live representative to answer any questions you may have or discuss how to move forward if you are considering additional platens for your direct to garment printer. The wide variety of platens is definitely a big selling point. You're going to have available options such as hat attachments, there's long sleeve platens that we can use for things such as uh, pant legs, sweaters. We did a webinar on that not too long ago, it should be up on our YouTube channel. So once again, A Print Supply Co on YouTube.com. That was fast. So we're going to take this off here and you do want to be super careful as the ink is still active or live before we cure it. But I just want to show you guys how quick and easy that was, just like printing a t-shirt. Great way to add extra value and additional options where we can upcharge or offer more additional line items on that invoice for your customers. Great way to separate yourself from other printers in your area. But I think this came out pretty awesome. This would be great on any sort of uniform garment and uh, we'll get this dried up. And then uh, I say we print a face mask now. You guys ready? Super easy to print a high quality, professional grade sleeve print. Let's show uh, how we could do possibly a face mask. With everything going on in the world, it's safe to say these probably aren't going to be going anywhere for some time. Why not offer a customized, high quality product with your existing customer base? It's a great way to keep people safe, looking sharp, and to add additional items that you can offer on that invoice. So we're going to show you how easy it is to transition from the sleeve printing to the mask. We're going to remove our hoop really quick. Now I do advise always giving a nice pre-press to anything we're going to be throwing in the printer, lay those fibers down flat and give you a nice clean surface to print on. So I'm going to try and place this as close to the middle as I can. Now we're going to take the included hoop, load this guy right on top and try to get everything underneath the edges, have this as flat as possible. If I could borrow a line from one of our friends, Leo over at Captain Platten, face mask may be the new french fries of our industry. Would you like a mask with that? We got this loaded here. I'm gonna drop my platen height just a couple. Lock that in. We got our design already queued up. We're gonna send this in. Data's already received. Super lightning quick, thanks to the Qatari NeoRib software. We can't say enough great things about this program. It's really the best way to unlock the true potential of what these machines are capable of. Now, if you hear that beeping, you probably know that sound. That's gonna be a platen height error. What's happening is, inside of the Epson direct to garment printer, it has a safety mechanism to prevent any kind of incidental contact with the printhead, also known as head strikes. This is kind of a smart feature, the machines are getting very intelligent, they look after themselves, they communicate what they need, so make sure we got this as flat as possible. I'm just going to drop this down a couple more, and I want to find at what point I can clear the sensor while still maintaining as close distance to that printhead spray as possible. Let's go ahead and see if we adjusted this correctly here and we can get a solid print on this mask. There we go. Now if you got your direct to garment printer from All American Print Supply, you also receive a 20% discount off all of our garments. This is going to range from children's tees and sweaters, adults long sleeve and short sleeve, as well as hoodies and crewnecks. This is also going to apply to our masks. So if you have any questions on that, we do have the link in the Zoom chat where you can connect with the live representative, answer any questions you may have, or go over any of these processes in more detail. But that was super quick. Oh man, that came out awesome. Let's take a look here. I might drive this one up and keep it for myself. Super great. We got one more demonstration for you guys. I'm gonna grab that garment one more time. We're gonna show you how you can do an awesome, personalized, individual neck label for all of your customers. Great way to add additional value. We're gonna set that up right now, stay tuned. All right, we got one more demonstration for everyone here. We're gonna be talking about the neck labeling. It's a great way to add value to your already existing customer base, give them that extra professionalism and personalization. I'm talking about their brand name, their website, their size information, and their care instructions. Also, any personal message. You see this on the big name brands in the stores, why not offer it to your customers as well? Again, we're going to be working with our Smart Blanks from All American Print Supply. Great garments to print on for any sort of digital decorating. And they also come with these convenient tearaway tags. Save that for later. 
Now, one thing I do advise when you are printing your neck labeling, we're gonna be setting the job at a lower quality setting. I don't wanna lay down too much ink that it actually goes through to the fabric. On, depending on the quality settings of your design, you should be in good shape. I also recommend uh, printing perhaps in like a dark gray. Using the cyan, yellow, and magenta, and black, you can really create a nice warm gray that'll show up even on your dark garments without pre-treat. But today we're gonna to be setting this in on a low level black. You wanna make sure you're always printing on the back side. You don't wanna put that neck label information on the front collar. So let's go ahead and load this onto the platen here. I like to put it pretty close to the neckline so that they can see the information when the garment is hanging or when they're looking at what size they're gonna be wearing. So we're gonna place this right up at the top. In my software, I designated my print area as top center. I'm gonna go ahead and get this situated here. And after we got it nice and centered, we're gonna lock it into place with the included hoop. Data is already received on the direct to garment printer from the lightning quick data transmission, thanks to the Cathari Neo Rip software. I'm gonna go ahead and send the job in here. And this is gonna be a super low cost print, super fast to prepare, that's really gonna boost up the value of each product and an additional line item to invoice for your existing customers. Again, guys, great way to add that personalization touch up that professionalism and really separate yourself from the competition. It's just one of the many ways and things that we can do with the sleeve platen. Four by four may not be the biggest print area, but man, can we do a lot of things with it. And let's take a look. It was that easy, guys. And we sent this again on a very low quality setting, but still using the color black on this nice heather gray, smart blanks, ring spun cotton garment. We got great clear visibility. It's that easy, guys. It's just like printing a t-shirt. You know, there's a lot of options out there for your additional platens, and I know they're not cheap, but the quality and what you're able to see as far as your return really makes them worth it, in my opinion, depending on what your business needs are. I hope we were able to show you guys today some awesome things that we can do with this 4x4 sleeve platen. We went over the masks, the sleeve printing, that neck labeling, all things we can offer to our existing customer base to get those invoices up, offer more range, separate yourself from the competition. But if you guys haven't already, I do want to mention again the YouTube channel. It's AA Print Supply Co. on YouTube.com. Make sure you hit the red subscribe button, tap that post notification bell so you never miss any of our awesome print related content. We got some of my past presentations on there, product spotlights, tutorials, walkthroughs, and we have a whole lot more coming. Uh, once again, the Loyalty Rewards Program. If you haven't already, head over to aaprintsupplyco.com, register your account, Make sure you're logged in and make your purchases as normal. You'll begin to accrue points back on every dollar spent good towards future needs on the website. And it's our way of saying thank you for your continued support. We want to build a lasting relationship between client and customer, uh, excuse me, client and company. And it's just our way of giving back. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to hang out with us this afternoon. I hope you took some good info away from it. My name is Estevan. We are All American Print Supply and we'll see you on the next one.